I'm having breakfast with Penguin this morning because he is the only one up. He's over there eating his breakfast. I am starting out my day with a lush bath and I'm going to use this dragon bath bomb that I picked up at the store the other day. I got a whole bunch of these for the kids and myself to try. So this is just a little holiday treat to myself to take the time to actually enjoy a bath. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. So we are going to be hanging out for another Vlogmas vlog again today. I took a bath with one of the Lush bath bombs that we got recently at the store and then kind of finished off doing my hair and makeup. So today I want to work on getting the house ready for our house guest. We have my mother-in-law coming in in about a day or so. So I need to do some last minute things to prepare, some cleaning, just generally getting the house ready, making sure the downstairs bathroom stocked. So where we are at this house, there is a little guest room off the movie room and then there's another bathroom down there that's kind of adjacent to the movie room, which is also the guest bath. There's a shower and everything down there. But one thing that you probably can't tell because the layouts of the houses never really translate in the videos is that at the last house we had three bathrooms, at this house we have four. So I had to go buy all new set of stuff to outfit that bathroom, which is totally fine. But I got that outfitted. It's got, um, we have extra towels down there. We put our guest down, our guest towels down there. I got the Grogu towels that I shared on Instagram for being kind of adjacent to our movie room. And I also had to get a bath mat and everything. So I need to make sure it's stocked up with all the essentials, like hand soap and all of that. I'm gonna work on that today and then just get a bit of cleaning done. So I will take you along for our day to day. I told the girls I was gonna take them out to lunch and it is super cold today, but the bottom is gonna be dropping out. Let's see, it is, no, it's super cold today. It's one degree outside right now, but it's supposed to be negative 15 tomorrow. So it's definitely gonna get colder. So it's just going colder, colder, colder the next couple days and then finally later next week it warms up. So we're gonna get our outings out the beginning of the week, make sure we have everything we need in the house for my mother-in-law's visit, and then hibernate for the next three or four days. I'm just gonna finish putting on a little bit of eye makeup, and then I will be done for the day with getting my makeup on. I'm still loving this Dior palette. This is the Backstage Palette in Cool Neutrals. It's kind of just my go-to palette because it's got a bit of like purple in the colors, but it's not like over the top purple. It's really nice blendable neutrals. So I really like those for kind of an everyday color to kind of give a little pop around my eyes. And I still don't know what the winner is gonna be for my Sephora Lashes To Go set that has all of these little minis in there and then there's a card to get a full size one but I've been using this Bad Girl Bang by Benefit and I do really like it. The applicator is a bit flat but it works really well to get all across your eyelashes and I have been enjoying this one so after the holidays are over because I want to deal with like the holiday shopping rush I'll take that card in to turn it in for full size mascara. But this one's been a really good one. I have enjoyed this one. I've been working on laundry, so I've got to get all of this clean stuff hung up on hangers in the closet. So everything is put away in there and I am going to go get a load of laundry to toss this in the wash so that way the washing machine will be pretty much open while we have people here in case we need to wash extra towels or anything. I'm gonna work on a couple emails here at my desk and then going to probably get a couple quick 
desk item reviews done, and then we are gonna head out to Venera to go to lunch. So I just made a few projects with my Cricut Joy, and I'm gonna go grab my sweater so that we can go out of the house and go grab lunch together. The girls are watching YouTube videos in the movie room right now, so I'm gonna to try to get them out of the house while it's not like the super frigid negative 15 below that it's gonna be the next couple days because I know that we're gonna be very limited on places that we're gonna go once it starts hitting those temps. So I'm wearing some of my holiday Alex and Ani bracelets the gingerbread Mickey cookie, the Minnie Mouse cookie, and then also Santa Mickey with joy. And I mentioned yesterday about my hands swelling. A couple of y'all said that you have this as well. The crazy thing is, is like right now, these rings are big, but as soon as I step going outside, like my hands are gonna start swelling to the point where even these will be tight. So it's really crazy, and it's a phenomenon that doesn't just happen in extreme cold, it's also extreme heat that does this. So I don't know, just gotta work around it. Um, my friend Seven made like important books. Like, so this is one of our favorite types of soup. We like the French onion soup. Not only likes the chicken noodle soup a lot, but she wanted a sandwich today. And then we have the chipotle bacon flatbread that we can share because there's a ton of it. We'll probably end up taking some of it home. And then we have lunch for a future day in here. Oh, it is just bitterly cold outside and it's only gonna get worse. I honestly am starting to think that there's something to like that wives tale of like you go south and like they say your blood thins or whatever. I definitely think I'm not handling the cold as well. However you want to say that. It feels so cold. And I remember like we wore coats in Michigan and it got cold in Michigan. Like this is just like next level coldness. So anyhow, we are headed back to the house and we have seat warmers and I'm gonna put my gloves on and we're gonna warm we up. We are back home, we've been here for a little bit. I got a wee bit distracted with making some really nice cards on the Cricut Joy. I really like how easy it is to use it. So the Cricut, the larger one that I have is easy to use too. It's the Maker 3, I believe but it is um, great for like larger t-shirts and things like that. So for small projects, like little cards, they just wanna stick in, do a couple at a time, or small vinyl stickers, the Joy is like the perfect size for that. So I've been having fun with it. I made all kinds of cards. I made some cards for decoration, some cards I can mail. So I kind of got sucked into that and lost about an hour after we got home maybe slightly more but I preheated the oven to make some cookies for the girls we're also going to do some cookies together and I got these fun um, toppers I think we're going to do that tomorrow when we're snowed in so these are just like the little like Christmas tree cookies from Pillsbury that I'm going to make and then the girls and I can do like more decorated cookies together tomorrow so we're not going to be short on cookies but there's supposed to be a snowstorm that's coming through the Midwest probably like tomorrow, tomorrow evening, which is also a little awkward because my mother-in-law is flying, is supposed to be flying in tomorrow, so I don't know how the timing's gonna work out. But we are fully stocked up. I filled my car up with gas on the way home, and we have food for the next couple of days, so, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen. They're obviously off school, and I work from home, so, <laughs> you know, it's really just down to my husband, but they're hybrid. He can work from home if he needs to, too. So we'll see what the next couple days bring. I don't really know the timing yet, but it looks like it was supposed to be more Thursday, and now it seems like it's kind of shifting more into Wednesday, so I don't know. But let's make some cookies real quick. I gotta clean up um, a little bit in the kitchen, and get kind of the dishwasher prepped. I like to like have it ready just to put the dishes for the evening in there. So let's work on that here in the kitchen. And then we're gonna do dinner um, in about another couple hours. I have baked potatoes on the schedule or whatever. So that's probably what I'll just stick with tonight. It's really dark in that corner and then I set my purse against it and I rubbed all the dates off. But this is still how I'm using 
um, the little board for meal planning because the larger one didn't fit on any wall in this house so I ended up just getting rid of that one but this is how I have been keeping track of um, not only their activities but also what we have for dinners too <laughs> I'm gonna let those cookies cool, but I guess we should do a before and after of the yard. I try not to pan too far up because you can see directly into our back neighbor's house. <laughs> That's new, but um, you know, it's just a little bit more direct than it's ever been before. But that is how much snow that we have. So I'd say it's about like six inches, maybe total accumulation right now. And then tomorrow it is supposed to be snowing, snowing. So we shall see how much snow we end up with. Penguin's definitely gonna need his hat the next couple days. He's pretty much gone into hibernation mode. He's just been holding down his bed all day long. I think a new, one of those like little couch beds is what's on his Christmas wish list. I need to try to find one. And we will just keep baking cookies tomorrow to hopefully fill our tin up with a lot of different types of cookies. I'm going to make some baked potatoes, but I'm also going to toss these chicken breast nuggets in the air fryer just to see what they taste like. So we're going to have that for dinner. So in case you have an eagle eye, when I showed the menu earlier, I did switch things around a little bit because I combined two meals. We're going to do the baked potatoes with some chicken nuggets that I put in the air fryer for two reasons. One, to try them out in the air fryer to see how it goes. I don't know. We'll see. And then two, I had a substitution on my grocery order. Instead of chicken tenderloins, they gave me chicken breast and they substitute that. So I'm going to make that in the crock pot tomorrow instead of doing the baked potatoes. So a little bit of flip-flopping, but at least I know what all ingredients I have for the end of the week. <laughs> what do you do? Know? I wanted to see if you know I was going to watch it. I wanted to see how good you did with the hey, right and figure it out. Hey, Natalie, what video did you just watch? I <laughs> you know, we're all about the redness. But I wanted to see how well she did being sure I couldn't figure it out. Not, like honestly, if I could see what it was, I was actually gonna shut the video off. Yes, yeah, so Natalie found the gift wrapping. <laughs> <laughs> she came in here laughing because she just found the gift wrapping video. But that I was doing it to see how well she did. <laughs> But then, with the hand and everything. <laughs> See, one day, folks, that's all it took was one day. I knew, I knew when I did that video. I did not anticipate it would take less than 24 hours. <laughs> I was just browsing and I'm like, ooh, I want to see if she, I want to see how well she did. Yes. Like making sure I couldn't figure it out. Because you, you have done it before and it completely spoiled it. I don't know. Vlogmas Humor brought to you by Natalie. <laughs>
We normally just do baked potatoes, but I decided to try the twice baked potatoes tonight to see how everyone liked them. Has pretty much all the same ingredients mixed in there, sour cream, cheese, bacon bits, and fringe onions that people would normally put on top of them. Um, just in a mixture that you bake basically exactly how the name sounds, twice. Uh, bake it a second time in the oven. You've been taking stuff to the UPS store, right? So that is it for our evening. We will be vlogging the next couple days, the last few days of Vlogmas, and hopefully you're having a wonderful holiday season. Thanks for sharing a little bit of the holiday with us. We're gonna go find a holiday movie to watch. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Have a good holiday.